6 o'clock in the morning and it's my turn to wake Jack up. Jack! Jack, it's 6 o'clock. We gotta go now. What? Hurry! What? We're climbing the mountain today. Welcome to John's phone. The show I'm taking the phone that I'm filming now and my trusty drone in my backpack to show you some of the best out of adventure in Asia. And today, we are going to Mount Kinabalu. We are going to Mount Kinabalu! Mount Kinabalu at 4095 meters is the highest mountain in Malaysia and the island of Borneo. The mountain is known worldwide for the diverse range of plant species found there. It takes about two hours to drive from Kota Kinabalu city to reach the foot of the mountain at the Kinabalu park. Everybody is getting registered here before climbing. We're gonna hike for six kilometers all the way up to Pandanhat, where we're gonna spend the night. And tomorrow morning at 2.30, we're gonna go all the way up to the summit of Mount Kinabalu. It's possible to walk from the registration gate to the first checkpoint at 1,800 meters above sea level, but we chose to drive to save time. Patrick, what's the, what does it mean on well, that gate? Well, uh, this is Timpohon Gate, and Selamat Bendaki basically is wishing you a safe climb. At the Timpohon Gate, you can actually rent a hiking stick, <laughs> and they will check your hiking permit here as well. There are many old tales of how Kinabalu got its name. The locals claim the word is derived from the words Akinabalu, which translates as revered place of the dead. The park is issuing 180 permits to climb up Mount Kinabalu a day, and you need to apply for that three months in advance and it costs about 200 ringgit. Most visitors take two days climb up and down Mount Kinabalu. There used to be two trails up to the mountain, but one was closed after earthquake in 2015, which killed a number of hikers and guides on the mountain. Uh, I've been hiking about one hour 15 minutes, just reached 2.5 kilometers. So uh, Jack is being the fitter person, is way up ahead of me but I'm using the uh, slow and steady strategy just to conserve energy about an hour and a half into the hike we're kind of walking in the cloud now can I see where it's Patrick Patrick we are now at kilometer three we're about halfway to Pandan Hut so uh, and when there's a time to break take a break maybe eat a banana drink some water well three and a half Okay, into the trail. Uh, I'm taking my first break with a bit of snack. No idea where it's Patrick. I met up with Patrick at the lunch point at 2700 meters. From this point onwards, attitude sickness can start to affect climbers as well as the terrain and the weather. Every time drone phone goes to a mountain, and look at this, raining and raining. Well, it took us five hours to climb up these six kilometers. It's tough, isn't it? Oh, it's real tough. Now we're at 3,290 meters. And you arrive at Pandan Hut. Pandan Hut, which we're gonna spend the night. Hopefully we will have some good rest before leaving to the summit. Tomorrow, there will be some activities on the mountain top, almost on the mountain top. And this is the briefing we have. Safety briefing. It's two o'clock in the morning. We just need to get up. Well, uh, 2.15 now in the morning. We're having the first breakfast before going up to the summit. 2.35 Ready? Yep, ready. Let's go. The first uh, 700 meters of the trail is quite steep. The only thing you can see is the bottom part of your body. We've been hiking for two hours and we just reached kilometer eight. 
which means we have 800 meters more to go before we reach the summit. Cool. The last 800 meters is basically very rocky. The summit is limited in size, just enough space for a quick photo before retreating to the slopes below to await the sunrise. Well, we're now waiting for this beautiful sunrise. At the same time, the peak is really packed with climbers. But Mountain Kinabalu got more to offer. Later, we're going down to do the Via Prata. It is about seven o'clock. We're gonna take our next challenge to go to Via Frata. This is our trainer, trainer Michael Hi. from Mountain Talk. He's going to get us to this highest mountain Frata in the world. Okay, to give you an idea how steep this can be, you just look above Patrick, it's, it's something like a two floor above. And the Michael is three floors above, and we're really, really close to each other in this way. It's very steep. And I show you another angle, and you look at this all the way down. Beautiful, beautiful views. How are you doing, guys? Good. Good. Well, this is the last episode of Malaysia Adventure. We enjoyed every bit of it, and I have to say, Malaysia got much more to offer, and we're gonna come back. Now, if you like our show, you never want to miss an episode, please like our page on facebook.com forward slash drone phone. Or just watch our previous episode at dronephone.com. My name is Jack. I'm Patrick. This, this is Drone Phone. you to finish the downhill this way after climbing up to mountain Kinabalu but remember you make sure that you are not afraid of heights for sure